Hi everyone, today I'm sharing a huge, huge life update, perhaps the biggest ever life update and this has been no small decision for me. It's taken me literally years and definitely two years <laughs> to be able to come to the place where I am today and what I'm about to tell you. So before I tell you the really, 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 really big news, um, I want to share some medium-sized news, which is about the training that I'm gonna be doing between now and the end of the year. So in two weeks time, I'm going to be going to Portugal to do my embodied facilitator training. So embodiment work is something that I've been doing for a long time. It's something that um, I absolutely adore and I thoroughly, thoroughly believe in because while mindset stuff is really important, if you don't connect that into your full system, like the brain is connected to the nervous system, which is connected to all the rest of your body. And so for me, embodiment is vital. So I'm really excited to be doing this training with Mark Walsh, who um, I'm really excited to meet him in real life. I've been obviously following his work for a long, long time. He's not everyone's style, but I love his like dry British sense of humor. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, and to being with other coaches and healers and um, yeah, teachers and all of those kind of things. So that is gonna be in Portugal um, for five full days. We've got our training and I'm really excited. Obviously I'll share little bits and pieces with you guys on Instagram. So I'm doing that in September. Simultaneously, by the end of this year, I am going to be a certified health coach as well as already obviously being a life coach. So this is something that I can't wait to add to like my big toolkit. Like my toolkit is always gonna get bigger and bigger, like the older that I get. I love learning, you guys know that. But this um, specific training to be a health coach that's certified by ACE, um, I know is gonna bring like another level to what I offer um, to my coaching clients. So. For me, holistic health is, it's like, it needs to have all these different areas, for me at least, this is what I believe. And while you can, like if you really need experts in each area, then there are lots of experts in each area. But what I've always been really good at and what I love is being able to help people in different areas in a way that all the things are linked. So let me just go over that for one second. So. Mindset work, which is what I've trained, what I'm trained in as a life coach, um, is something very, very powerful. When you can shift the way that you see the world, when you can shift the way that you see yourself, when you can learn to question your limiting beliefs and replace them with more helpful beliefs, um, all of that is extremely powerful, and it affects our health when we can link it to an embodied practice as well. So I've also been um, doing embodiment work for a long time for myself and also I've been bringing it into my client work for the last, I'd say like year and a half probably. And it's so powerful because our emotions affect our physical health. Our energetics affect our emotional and our physical health. And so for me, I'm really excited to bring all these things together. The holistic health part, the mindset work, and obviously strategy is always a part of it as well. So, as I said, these are the two things that I'm really excited. I'm currently studying this. Obviously, I still am read, running at the academy at the moment for my incredible dance teachers. I am also um, doing one-to-one -one client work and mentorship, which is amazing. Guys, this work fills my heart so much and it's so powerful. Like the fact that I get to help people change their own lives as a job is such a gift, but it's such a gift to me, it's such a gift to them. And it's such a gift to the world because as we heal, we do less damage to other people, right? So we can be more generous with our gifts, we can be more generous with ourselves, we say less mean things, we don't cut people short, we, all these things. 
It's powerful, powerful, powerful work. So um, all of that is very exciting. But here's the big thing that I wanted to share with you guys today. Before I do, <laughs> I meant to say as part of all this coaching that I'm offering a free workshop on confidence. Um, it's actually a masterclass. It's going to be 90 minutes and I'm going to be sharing not about the kind of outward strategies of like, hey, five tips to like confidence, do this and this and this. No, we're going to be going deep into the roots of self-doubt, which is basically like that's what erodes our natural self-confidence that we're all born with. Like babies don't worry about being confident or not. When a baby needs something, it's going to cry. It's not going to worry about, oh my goodness, is this an inconvenient time for my mother? Like, should I do this? It doesn't question itself. <laughs> it just cries and it lets everybody know I'm here and I'm important and I need to get my needs met. Obviously, as we're adults, we begin to be able to meet our own needs. But there's this um, innate knowing that we are important, just like everyone's important. We're not more important than people, that, but we're important. We matter, we're valuable. And so this is a quiet confidence masterclass and I call it quiet confidence exactly for this reason that I'm not interested in creating more people who feel like they need to shout, who feel like they need to compete, who think that confidence is about being the loudest one in the room, that think that confidence is about being the center of attention, that think that confidence is about looking a certain way on the outside. That's not confidence. Confidence is almost the opposite. It's what you feel and how you show up and how you present yourself in the world internally. Um, and even when you're in a room by yourself, feeling confident about your decisions, feeling confident about who you are, feeling confident about your ability to handle difficult things in life. This is the type of quiet confidence that I'm talking about. This is what we're gonna be working on in this 90 minute masterclass, um, which is on Wednesday, the 31st of August, last day of this month, um, at seven o'clock Madrid time, six o'clock UK time, one o'clock New York. I hope I got that right. <laughs> So if you'd like to join, I'll put the link in the description. By the way, I can't remember if I said it at the beginning, but like I decided today that because I'm sharing something that's really quite frightening, I've been facing this fear, ready to get ready to like jump over for the last two months. Um, and so as I was gonna start getting ready to do this live, I decided I'm going to just show up here raw, authentic, absolutely no makeup on, my hair is still wet from the shower, and I thought this is appropriate for today because what I'm gonna share with you guys right now is like, this is actually who I am right now in this current like evolution of myself as a woman at 34 years old. And the big news is that I am stopping teaching ballet, yes. My journey with ballet is coming to a gradual slowing down. So I'm still gonna be working with some one-to-one um, -one clients in Madrid um, doing dan uh, yeah, dance teaching but I don't have any group classes anymore. I know that the best work that I do now, and that, this is gonna sound maybe weird, but like that's saying something, because I'm an excellent dance teacher, but I know that the most important, the most powerful work that I can do right now is to be coaching people. And I know that because I'm seeing it, I'm doing it, and I'm living it, and <laughs> it's happening, and my clients are feeling these shifts, changing their lives and to me I cannot not do it now and it's taken me two years to get here so or even more than that actually I think I trained as a life coach three years ago yeah I started life coaching three years ago and for those three years I have not been able to 
set aside my identity as dancer and dance teacher because that has been my identity since I was like three years old. The dancey one, that's me. It was like, that's who I am. Um, and I'm still gonna be talking about dance. To me, dance is an integral part of human health for all humans. So I'm still gonna be talking about dance a lot. I'm still gonna be dancing, of course. <laughs> so I'm still gonna be dancing salsa machata. Like I said, I will still be dancing with some of my one-to-one -one clients in Madrid ballet. So none of that's going away, but I'm stepping now into full-time coaching, which is secretly what my heart has been kind of desiring for the last three years is to dance for me and but to allow my career to evolve I guess and it's been the scariest thing to say this like I'm still right now I'm like I can't believe I'm doing this <laughs> even as I speak right now I'm like I can't believe I'm saying this but I know that right now Teaching dance in a dance studio in the way that I've been doing it is not what I'm supposed to be doing. Like this isn't, um, while I can do it and I can do it really well, sometimes that's not enough. And especially for like my personality and the kind of vision that I have for the world, like I, I have such big dreams to help so many more people to live healthy and fulfilling lives and yes dance is going to play a part in that but the best tool that i have right now to help people do that is coaching 100 percent. so what's powerful about coaching is that we get to because i obviously know about dance and this is a beautiful thing for all of you guys who are also dancers or dance teachers or whatever you have to do with dance is that we have this beautiful channel into the body through dance like we already have that connection that some people don't have access to um, until they train it up because they've been conditioned out of it. Um, and so dance will always inform all the work that I do as a coach. Um, and as I said, I'm always gonna talk about dance because as I believe it's a fundamental pillar to human health. And I mean that in the physical sense, in the emotional sense and in the relational sense, there's no better way to bond with other people especially without language, so like across different cultures, across different countries, than dance and music. I mean, there just isn't. And um, to me, this is like fundamental to all the work that I do. So anyway, guys, this has been a long video, probably. How long are we going? 12 minutes, and I just wanted to literally come on and say three things, which was that I'm doing my embodiment facilitator course, I'm doing my health coach certification, and I'm stopping teaching group dance classes um, so what I would like to invite you guys, if you would like to, if you're interested in learning more about whew, everything about the human animal, so you guys know that my back, well, maybe you don't know, but my background from my master's degree in dance anthropology, my thesis was about the evolution of dance and music. And once I learned about human evolution, I realized like this is the most important um, perspective that we can have because this is where we came from, this is who we are, this is why we're here. And so coming from that place is incredibly powerful to inform our decisions, to understand how we care for ourselves, how we look after ourselves, how we look after other people. Um, and so this is what informs my coaching. And so if you're interested in learning a little bit more about what is the human animal and how do we combine the human animal with also the what I believe are like spiritual divine beings that we also are and by that I mean that we're all connected we are we literally have come from mother nature we are part of nature we are part of this universe and um, and how does all that fit together <laughs> so um, and how does it impact our health this is like my most fundamental question how can we live healthier lives healthier for us, healthier for other people, healthier for our communities, and healthier for the planet. This is, I, ca I cannot think to me of a mission that calls my heart as much as this one. So this is why I, like, at this point now, I can't, I can't make another decision. Like, this is what I have to dedicate my life to. Um, and it's so funny because when I go back and look at like my previous 
or like if you go to my other YouTube channel, which is by the way where I'm going to be doing, um, ho- that's where I host my podcast, it's where I'm going to be talking more about all of these kinds of things, um, you'll see if you go like right back to the beginning, most of my videos are about health because <laughs> it's always been like my deep, deep passion. Um, and so, yeah, and living a healthy life, so I'm creating healthy habits. Um, but I think I've grown so much since then, and I understand now like the plurality of that, the multiple, many different ways that that looks. So I'm not interested in being a health coach that tells people what to do. Like that's absolutely not at all what I'm gonna be doing. So like I said, I'm gonna be combining life coaching and health coaching by literally allowing other people to figure out for them what is the healthiest thing for them, for their families, for the way that they want to live their life. How can they do it? How is this gonna fit in? How big can they let their dreams get of who they want to be and how they want to live and how can I support them in that journey? So this is enough, 15 minutes. Okay guys, um, I will see you in, I don't know when, because this weekend is the Sleeping Beauty experience. It's like the final beautiful farewell for me to the adult ballet world, at least for now. Never say never, obviously. (laughs) I'm sure I'm gonna be teaching dance in other ways and um, creating group dance experiences. I know that that's part of what I'm also gonna do. I just don't know exactly what that looks like right now. Um, So, yes. As I said, links will be in the description. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for listening. Thank you for caring about me as a human being because now that I'm sharing with you, like this is a a shift in my journey. I know that if you come with me, it's because there's some kind of care there about me as a person, not just about um, me sharing like ballet variations, which is obviously fun as well. So if that is you, and by the way, if you're like, this isn't for me anymore, I totally get it. Sending you lots of love. And this is just the nature of life. Things evolve, people change, and we don't all have to stay in contact. And I totally get and appreciate that. Um, So that's it, everyone. Sending you all lots of love, and I will see you soon. Bye.